So, a lot of my videos recently have just been nether portals behind walls, but what if we could have uh, nothing behind a wall, so we could just walk through it? Well, that's what this is, it's a flush door. And I've built this before, it's a 4x4 flush door, but this one is better, because it is fast. And it's also smaller, so there we go, there's the opening, there's the closing, really fast, and the redstone is a lot smaller than the previous one because I've chopped an entire block off the side. And the redstone is simpler, which is, you know, nice. So all we do is we have these sort of squares of slime and honey blocks with blocks in front of them, and we just push them in. So we push them down two blocks and then forward a block to fill in the door, like that. And we see two of them go to the sides and two of them go to top. Now, I could probably make this door smaller by not insisting on having them go to the side and having just some slime going to the floor, because then it wouldn't have to be as wide on the sides. But I don't like doing that, because then when you walk over the floor, you're walking over slime and honey, which is kind of disgusting. It also slows you down. You know, just not nice. So I prioritise making it nice to walk through, but it's still really fast and still really easy to build, because it's just normal redstone and some slabs around the place. So this slab is to stop this redstone powering the bottom piston first if we fold it back. You can see the slab with redstone is next to this bottom piston, but we don't want to actually power that piston with that redstone, we want to sell off the top one first. So we use a slab. And then we've also got a slab over here. And that slab is to make it so this redstone, when it's powered by this repeater, doesn't send the signal down, because slabs actually send redstone up, but not down on a hill. So that's why we use a slab here, and then we've got a slab here, which stops this redstone powering this piston, because we want it to power the middle ones instead. So, turns out slabs are really useful. Who knew? So now we sort of just look to the redstone, there is one final thing, the input is these this red and orange block, it's kind of like you have to have a repeater going into them. The orange block you can just have one redstone, so I've got a lever on the side that goes to this one redstone and to this orange. But to make it as fast as possible, I did redstone going all the way from the bottom, all the way up the entire thing to the top. So it has to be no more than 15 blocks from this top bit of redstone to that bottom bit of redstone here. So that's why we have to do this whole, you know, the lever can only be here thing. But don't worry, if you want to do it further away, all you have to do is just add a repeater going into the block. Or you could also just take this middle line of redstone and add a repeater going to each side. But to make it as fast as possible, you do the lever where I put it there and just do the redstone going to it there. How do you build it? Okay, in terms of resources, you're going to need 47 redstone dust, 7 repeaters, 8 honey and slime blocks, 12 sticky pistons, 4 slabs, and they can also be glass and stairs and 20 obsidian, and the obsidian is just put around the door so that you don't have the honey and slime sticking to these blocks, that's why we have to do them as obsidian. And then you're going to need a bunch of blocks to fill in the door and to put your redstone on. So in terms of space, if we've got our 4x4 four four door frame here when you, where you're going to build your door, you're going to need to go two blocks underneath it, dig down, you're going to need four blocks to each side, so your door is in this middle bit here, and then you have to go four blocks across in each direction. And you also need four blocks of ceiling as well. You'll also need four blocks of depth, including the wall, so your door is at the front here. There's not actually any redstone there, but that's just where the door pushes into, and then the redstone is the three blocks behind it. Pistons. So for our piston layout, I guess it'll kind of help. So we'd have blocks here and then i'm not going to put slime there yet but you'd have slime here so we need blocks to push that and to do that we go behind and then we do two pistons like that and then you'd also have blocks here and you'd have some more slime again i'm just doing normal blocks for now to show you where it is and then we'd have pistons aiming there then the pistons actually push this into the door we go back on the edges like this with a block and then we'll do a piston aiming forwards at the bottom, like that. To be honest, I don't know why I didn't do this as slime now. It doesn't matter. You're going to have to do one of these as honey and one of them as slime so they don't stick to each other. And now at the top we got the same thing where we have the blocks go into the door. So just go to your ceiling and build four blocks like that. 
Then on the side where you did slime, you're going to have to put honey at the top. And on the side where you did honey, you're going to have to put slime at the top. So they don't stick to each other. Now, what I also do is I put next to these pistons at the bottom. I put blocks next to the pistons so that they're hidden in the wall. So they'll get pushed out by the slime and then pulled back. And for the top pistons, we just do four blocks along the top. Four pistons aimed down like that. On each side, we go to the bottom corner. And then we do a piston aiming forwards. That's not forwards. There we go. And that's the top pistons. So now we'll fill in the obsidian on our wall. So on the two sides, these four blocks here are obsidian because it stops the honey and slime sticking to it. And in your floor, the two blocks going from the front are because that's where the slime and honey goes. Then everything else can just be regular blocks. And then also the two pistons at the top, I put blocks between them. This could also be obsidian if you want to use more obsidian. But I just do it as normal blocks because it'll push down and pull back and it looks clean. So for the redstone, again, your input, I'm going to do the lever under here. But basically, if you go to the left corner, go a block down and then do a block backwards. Now, this block here is your input. So you want to do a repeater going into this from either side really if you're doing a lever going from anywhere else but if you just have the lever at the front you can just do a redstone but anywhere else you will need a repeater because the redstone signal runs out so we are going to have to do a bit connecting underneath so we just go underneath with a bunch of redstone like that underneath the floor so for the redstone for the pistons to power this bottom piston it gets pushed forward a block so we put an obsidian under the honey there or slime then we do a block going into it with a repeater on three ticks. And we just take our redstone from the bottom. We do a block going up next to the block with the repeater and then a block going up behind that. And then a block behind the repeater with redstone and redstone on all the rest of this like that. Now to power the top piston, we do a slab behind and a redstone. So that redstone connects that piston and powers it. Then we do a block coming to the back with a redstone dust. And then a block coming up behind that with the redstone dust and then another block and another redstone dust. And that powers this top piston, which I've realised based on where this is going. Yes, this piston is actually supposed to be one block higher. So like this, and then we'll just have normal blocks underneath it to hide that in the ceiling. So these pistons at the top should be swapped with a block and the pistons themselves should be one block higher. And also almost forgot that to power this bottom piston when it gets pushed across, it gets pushed under this block. So we just power this block with some redstone and stop this redstone getting powered by this repeater through this block. We do the redstone going one block down and then one block back up and connect it to the rest of it like that. And your input here, so the repeater I initially put was here, but actually where this redstone is, you do it one block across if you're coming from this side. So you'd have a repeater there and then you just have a bunch of redstone going to wherever your lever is or your button. Now we also need to delay this top piston turning off and also power the top bit, the rest of the top bit. So to power this piston when it gets pushed down, we put an obsidian above there with a redstone. Then we do two blocks behind like that above the bottom pistons and we do a redstone and then a repeater on three ticks. And then to delay this top piston turning off, we go to the other obsidian to the side and put a redstone. Then a block with a repeater on three ticks going into a block and a redstone on that block next to the piston to just keep it on a bit longer. Now looking from the front, if we go to this redstone at the top that goes into the repeater, we do a block next to it with redstone. Then we actually go two blocks up and across like that and do a top slab or glass with redstone. And that's so signal can go up but not back down. Then a block and a slab. And then two more blocks going across next to these pistons and redstone on all of those to power the top. Now we're gonna copy this stuff to the other side. So under the slime here, we do obsidian and we have our block with our repeater on three ticks aiming into that. So one from the end, then a block behind with redstone, then a block above next to that, a block next to the repeater, block one block below and going across to the bottom redstone, redstone or all of those to power this block, which powers the piston when it gets pushed to here. We do block there, then we go one below so we don't create an infinite loop with this repeater and block. Then we do two blocks like that with redstone. Then that's not redstone. There we go. Redstone on all of that. Then behind the piston at the back, we do a slab with a redstone. Then we do a block to the side with a redstone. 
Then we do two more blocks with redstone on them to power this top piston here. Then we go one block up, one block across into the honey or slime, and then obsidian. And we do redstone repeater on three ticks. Redstone on the obsidian, redstone to the side. Block, one block down with a three tick repeater aiming backwards into a block. Then a block next to the top piston with a redstone to delay it. And then we're also going to delay these pistons at the top so that they turn off last and pull everything back up. So to do that we go to this top obsidian, we do a block behind, then a block across and up with redstone like that, then a block with a repeater on three ticks, and then we just make that go into a block to power the redstone here. And that should be the entire door done. So again the only caveat is if you go to the front your input has to be one of these two bits of redstone at the side. So you do repeaters like this if you wanted to power it from somewhere else with a line of redstone. So for me, I can just verify it's working by putting a redstone there and doing a lever. And there we go, the blocks all came out and went back. The most common issue you'll have is just stuff going off at the wrong time. And that just means you need to check all your repeaters and redstone are connected up properly. So just go over the tutorial again. There should be timestamps and see if you got any of the timings mucked up. I will add one last thing. There was someone who asked how do you turn a button into a lever to activate these doors. So the way I know to do this is you use dispensers or droppers. So we've got droppers here. You'll need two of those and a hopper and you'll also need a comparator. So to turn a button into a lever, we do one dropper aiming upwards like that into one aiming across. Then we do a hopper aiming into the bottom dropper and we do a comparator coming out of the top dropper and you put an item in there. And also the signal strength is pretty weak so you probably want a repeater coming out of it. And then we do a block with a repeater aiming into the droppers. It can't be redstone, it doesn't work with redstone for some reason, but you do a button powering that repeater and that will fire your item into the bottom dropper so it's no longer powering the comparator and repeater. And then we press it again, the item goes back into the top and so the comparator and repeater are powered. So on this door, like I said, you do this kind of line of redstone here. What you'd really do is you do the repeaters instead, going into a dropper aiming up, dropper aiming across, into a hopper. Then you'd have, so this is where our input is, yeah. So we do a comparator coming out of the hopper into a repeater. And then we go to the other side of the droppers. And we do a comparator coming out the back. The back of the dropper, that's not a comparator. So you need two comparators and then a repeater aiming into that red set. And because we've got the repeaters aiming into either side, that means that if we put an item in here, it's now powering the door. And then we just have a button on either side activating these repeaters. So if press that, open the door. And then if we go to the other side and add a button powering the repeater on this side, that will now close the door. Except it didn't because I put the button behind a piston. I'm a genius. So if you don't put your button behind a piston so that it powers the piston and breaks the door and then you destroy your blocks so you can fix everything <laughs> and then you put your blocks back because you broke everything. So yeah in the world where we didn't break everything and um, we just put buttons in sensible places that don't sell off pistons when they're not supposed to be and you just do repeaters going into this dropper with comparators and repeaters on each side then you can do a button on each side and that'll turn the door on and off like that anyway i've been ida died hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you next one adios